Well, we're continuing the discussion on the on this AR-15 rifle, and uh, I've got a couple of little options I want to show you. Well, let's say hypothetically you're looking at uh, putting a scope on your AR-15. What kind of mount to use? What kind of scope are you going to use for this? Well, I don't know what you're going to want to use for a scope, but I've got a couple of options that are uh, actually very reasonable, and uh, and I know that they build a good product. Uh, First of all, if you've got a flat top receiver, and I'm going to show you this, what I'm talking about here. This is, this is my AR-15, obviously, and it does have a flat top receiver, meaning that uh, it has a removable carry handle. Now, the option with that, the great thing about having that removable carry handle <clears throat> is you can remove that carry handle, and it gives you a uh, weaver-style mount that you can mount a scope directly to this. Well, in order to mount a scope to the top of this, you do need to put a, a, a riser on here in order for your scope to be able to get over that front sight, to be able to see a clear sight picture. Now, I've got an option for that. I'll show you this. Let's say that you don't want to, uh, you don't want to have to buy an additional riser because that's, a, that's additional money and that sort of thing. Well, there's a company called NC Star. It makes a lot of great products. And one of the most unique products that they've got now is their little uh, AR-15 carry handle scope mount. I'm going to show you this thing. I've, I've actually had, this is the third one that I've had. And this one here is brand new. I had just now opened it up out of the box. And this is it. It's got a, uh, a spring-loaded nut that gives you good tension, and your carry handle, all your carry handles, whether this, this is whether you've got a detachable carry handle or a regular fixed uh, carry handle on your receiver, uh, it works the same way. That scope mount drops down inside there, locks in nice and tight, just like so. Of course, you want to get your wing nut in there. Pull it up to where you can get your wing nut started. Once you get your wing nut started, and that's it. That scope mount is rock solid on top of that uh, carry handle. Now the beauty with this thing, not only is it its simplicity of design, but check this out. It actually has a total of four screws per strap to hold that uh, to hold that scope down. Not to mention the fact that uh, it's also got these inserts inside here that you can use uh, the uh, the larger scope tubes. You can use a standard size scope tube, which is 30 millimeter, and then you've got another one even larger than that that you can use if you want to. Another nice thing that Nickstar puts into these is they've actually got these uh, like a nylon padding in there, and yeah, you can see that in the, in the video. It's got these nylon paddings in there that uh, that once this thing is tightened down and centered up on your on your scope, you don't have any actual uh, actual metal coming in contact with your scope and you end up with a real clean looking design. Now I've already got one of these things uh, mounted up on my on one of these mounts. This is actually for my uh, BSA Suite 22 scope which I'm fixing to show you here in a, in a moment. But I've got my 223 scope already mounted on there. Now this is this is my uh, my BSA Sweet 223 3x12 by 40 millimeter scope, and you can tell that it's got one of these mounts already on here. And you're going to mount that thing on your rifle. You just simply drop it through, just like I said. It's a lot easier once if your carry handle is already on your on your rifle. And the cool thing is, is you can carry these things. They're very compact, and you never lose zero once it's a uh, once you sight it in. Uh, you don't lose zero, and you're able to uh, keep them in your bag at all times. And that's it. Snug that up, and there you go. And that thing mounts right on top of my scope, uh, or right on top of my uh, flat top receiver, and it also has a... Uh, a see-through design, which you can't see in that picture, but you can see that right here, you can actually see through that tube and see your open sights if you need to. That's it. Now, talking about the Sweet 22 and the Sweet 223, uh, what makes these things nice? Well, first of all, check this out. 
This scope here has actually got uh, removable caps that are threaded on and they're anodized aluminum. Very nice, high quality. BSA scopes are actually very high quality for the for what you get. I mean, they're, they're great. I mean, I, I've used them on my pellet guns for years and they really turn out a nice product. But uh, the advantage of the 223 scope is, uh, and, and where you get into the differences of it, is uh, these different turrets that it comes with. This whole turret assembly here is removable, and it's cal each one of them are calibrated to specific uh, weights of the bullet. Now, I hunt with a 55 grain uh, uh, bullet, and this one here is rated for 55 grain. Now, the cool thing is, is once you've zeroed this thing at 100 yards, and you can see that you, you sight it in right there at 100 yards. Let's say you want to uh, shoot it at 200, you just turn it up to 200, and you put the sights dead on your animal. Let's say you're gonna, and you need a range finder, obviously, to be able to see this, but you can uh, go up to 250, 300. And the only thing, this thing automatically compensates for the drop of the bullet for that specific weight. Now, you actually get, on the 223, you get, uh, you get two, or a total of three of these uh, these turrets. You get one for a uh, 50 grain and one for a 62 grain. And every one of them are calibrated to the, to the specific weight drop of the bullet so that uh, you're dead on uh, at whatever range you're shooting at. Now with the uh, 22, or the Sweet 22, obviously they're not gonna go up to 400 yards, but uh, the Sweet 22 has got the same type of screw type caps. And uh, this one here is actually uh, for a 40 grain bullet. It comes with uh, three turrets. I think it's got it. Yeah. This one comes with three turrets. And uh, the one I've got it set for here is for a 40 grain. And it comes with a uh, 36 grain and let's see what else. 38. You've got a, a 40, 38, and a 36 grain. And the same principle. All you do is uh, is is run it up. And this one here on a uh, 40 grain will actually shoot up to. A, it's calibrated up to 175 yards for a 22 long rifle. Now that's what the second kind of cool is. You can take and set one of these things up to where you can drop it on your rifle, and if you want to go squirrel hunting or uh, varmint hunting, hunting or whatever, and you want to shoot your 22, you can drop one of these on your rifle, shoot your 22 all day long on your AR-15, and then turn around and put your sweet tooth. Two, three on there and go deer hunting with it. And uh, I'm just curious. Yeah, all of these are actually calibrated to to 175. Yeah, you've got uh, all three of these are calibrated on the 20, Sweet 22 to uh, to 175 yards. Now, talking price. Believe it or not, this scope right here, the Sweet 22, with uh, and it's hard anodized aluminum. Comes with the screw caps. I paid. Uh, $39 plus shipping on uh, Amazon. So it was 49 bucks shipped to the house. Great deal, it's a great scope. Uh, you buy the mounts here, these mounts are uh, shipped to the house for about 18 bucks a piece. So what are we looking at? You're looking at about 60, less than 70 bucks for the full operation, drop on, ready to shoot. Now the Sweet 22, or the Sweet 223 is a little bit more expensive. Uh, they retail for about about 170 bucks, uh, but believe it or not, on Amazon you can pick them up on Amazon for about uh, about 85. I gave uh, 84.99 shipped to the house for uh, for the Sweet 223. The Sweet 22 is a uh, is another gun. This one or another scope. This thing also retails for about 150 bucks. But uh, guys, check them out. These things are uh, BSA puts out a fantastic product. You you can't go wrong with them. Let me know what you think. I'm curious of how well these things are going to shoot. I hadn't got a chance to get them out in the range and uh, actually put some put some ammunition down range. But all reports say, A-OK. -okay. Thank you for watching.